So what number goes into both of these? 12, 12? 12, 12, four? Four, four? four divided by, 12 divided by four is what? Yeah, three. Uh, three, yeah. Three Y. Yeah, yeah. three Y. One step at a time, please. We spoke about factors earlier. Numbers that go into other numbers. Yeah, yeah, When yeah. we are factorizing, you may notice the word factor is actually hidden inside this word. So it's, Whoa. everything is linked. Mind blown. So when we're trying to factorize something, it basically means putting it into a bracket with the common factor on the outside. Calm. So when we look at this, Whoa. 4x plus eight, what number goes into both this and this? Four. And? Two. Exactly. One. We always want to try and find the biggest number. The biggest one. The biggest factor, the biggest common factor, common meaning in both. Yeah. So four goes into both. So we're going to put four on the outside. That Come is on. the common factor. Oh. Come on. Then on the inside of the bracket, it's, well, what would we have to put here so it multiplies to make four X? One. So X. Just X. X. One X, absolutely, but we don't need to write the one. Four X makes four X. And then plus, because that's a plus. Yeah. What would need to go here? Two. Two. To make the eight. And then this is where expanding and factorizing comes together. If we were to then expand it, it would be 4x, 4x plus, plus eight. 8, which is that. So oh. factorizing is to put it in brackets. Exactly. Yeah. It's literally expanding and factorizing are opposites of opposites. each other. That's when we have a numerical common factor. Here, we've got a numerical and a letter. Oh, that is an algebraic function that is also common here. So there's going to be very often more than one common factor. But we do one at a time. So what number goes into both of these? 12? 12? 12? Four, four, four? Times? Four divided by, 12 divided by four is what? Yeah, uh, three, three, yeah. Three Y. Yeah, yeah, three Y. Well, one step at a time, please. Oh, but yes. right. yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. Are you mad, bro? Bro, believe me. Jeez. <laughs> My cheek. From eyesight. I mean, like, yay, just hey. it. When we say, did you get it right? Like, you didn't get the question right, but like, there's elements of it where you're spot on. So it's good, but it's not great. I'll so, why are you trying to be real? Why are you hating? I'm, I'm trying to be real. Why are you hating? I don't want to get your expectations oh, yeah, too you high. You can't take off free Y on the Yeah. <laughs> I'm never gonna win, bro. <laughs> I'm happy that you're happy, but let's not get too happy. <laughs> so, so four goes into both of those numbers, and then what letter goes into both? Why? Obviously, a Y. And we can only take out one singular one because there's, there's two Ys in this one. Yeah. But there's only one Y in here, so we can only take out one because we can't take out more than one from this. So four Y on the outside. Now, what has to go in here to recreate that twelve Y? Number first, then letter. Free Y. Free Y, exactly. Oh, maybe I was right. You well, were, you that's were... what I'm saying. Elements well, were right, but just not exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what do we have to put here to create the negative 4Y? Minus 1. Minus 1, exactly. Oh. And that's something people always forget. People often just ignore this and they just leave it like that. But you need to have oh, something there so you can times to get the 4Y. It's just going to be a minus 1. Very good. <laughs>